7285. Mad Dog. <laughs> oh. Hey, Paul, how you doing? We're doing great. Good afternoon. Hey, first of all, it was so great to meet you when you were in Athens. Um, you're, you're, like I told everybody, if, if you're ever in that person's town, they need to do whatever they can, including calling in sick, to go to your show and meet you because you are one of the most down-to-earth people I've ever met. And, I mean, you're so nice to everybody, just, you know, having conversations, taking pictures and autographs, and it was just great. So, uh, again, thank you for that. Well, thank you for uh, saying hello, Matt, uh, Mad Dog. <laughs> Well, Paul, speaking of Mullen, you know, we've always in the past consistently heard people basically apologizing for his underachieving, and this year's no exception. And so what I'd like to know is, do you think that he is the top offensive mind in college football like we so often hear? I think he is a, a great quarterback coach, and I think he uh, in-game is, I would probably say he's a, he's as good as I've seen this in college football today. But... Yeah, I also think Lane Kiffin is in that conversation and should be. Well, I think that Kiffin is, is head and shoulders uh, above Mullen. Of course, I'm not the most objective person on that subject because, you know, Georgia fans just really view him as an arrogant, loudmouth Yankee from Pennsylvania who wants all of the credit and none of the blame. Well, Mad Dog, I, 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 think, I think Dan, you know, Dan Mullen's problem, to me, is off the field, not, not on the field. Uh, I, his inability to get over this hump from a recruiting standpoint is still baffling to me. I've heard theories on it. I'll, I'll, I'll let some more data build up before I, I go to, because the theories, the, the theories are somewhat unflattering. Uh, but I, I, I do think that is his problem, and, because I really, I've watched him a long time. He's a smart coach. I think he's a really good coach, but you know, I do think Saturday is, is one of the most important games of his career down there because I don't expect him to win. I, I could change my mind as the week goes on, but you know, should they lose badly, uh, he's going to have a hard time explaining. Even though the rest of the way he he has a pretty easy uh, route, but it's not going to change anything. Again, thanks for your kind words, and 